For this video, we want to examine the process for putting in a fade cue, and in particular, the idea of creating a fade out for an audio cue. The first thing we want to look at is our audio cue in place here. So if we go ahead and click on the audio cue, we'll see that its output levels are set at unity. Uh, basically, that means that the audio cue will output at the volume levels at which it was created. So what we want to do is insert a fade cue by clicking on the fade cue icon in the toolbar above. Once we've done that, we can see that it's going to put a placekeeper into the workspace for a fade cue. Now you'll notice that there is a red X located over here that says no target cue when you hover above it. And basically that's telling us that we have a placekeeper for the fade cue, but we haven't yet assigned a cue that is going to interact with it. So in order to do that, we're just going to grab our audio cue and pull it over the placekeeper for the fade cue, and we'll see that that cue has been assigned. Now, if we look over here again, we'll notice though that uh, there is basically an indicator that says no fade parameters have been enabled. Pick at least one thing to fade. So what it's telling us is that we have set up a fade cue we have targeted an audio cue, but this fade cue hasn't done anything to actually affect that audio cue yet. So what we're going to do is go down to the Levels tab of our fade cue and go ahead and pull those levels all the way down to negative infinity um, for the master and channel 1 and 2. And basically what that's going to do is going to take our audio cue up at the top that is playing at its regular recorded level. And when we activate the fade cue, it's going to go ahead and fade out that to negative infinity or mute it basically. Um, another thing that we want to look at is the idea of the curve shape. Uh, we will revisit this at a later point, but basically what we can see is that there are different choices for creating a fade curve. You can have either the S-shaped curve, which is kind of a slow and gradual curve, um, or you can go with a straight curve, uh, which basically proceeds at a straight interval over the entire Q duration, or you can create a custom curve and go ahead and basically make your own shapes to the curves. Uh, for this particular project, we're going to stick to the S-curve and we're going to keep it at the set duration of five seconds. Although if we wanted to, we could go ahead and change that to say two seconds or eight seconds. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and trigger this and see what happens. So what we've seen here is we've triggered the playback of audio cue one here and then gone ahead and triggered the fade cue, which takes it down to a volume of negative infinity. But you will notice that up here in the action, this cue is continuing to play. That's because we haven't enabled one very important aspect of the fade cue, which is the stop target when done checkbox here. If I go ahead and enable that, what's going to happen is that once I click my fade cue, it's going to fade out and you'll notice that as soon as the fade is done, it stops the playback of the audio cue that's targeted. And that's basically how we create an audio fade out cue. 